Today we're gonna to do a 30 minute single dumbbell full body workout that you can do at home as a follow along with me. For this workout, I'll use one 15 kilo dumbbell, that's about 33 pounds, but just use whatever's right for you. First up though, we're gonna kick things off with a brief body weight warm up, then we'll get into the main strength sections. This warm up consists of four 30 second intervals, just our body weight, linking one straight into the other. We're gonna start off warming the legs up with some squats, so if you stand with your feet, about shoulder width apart, slight turn out to the toes, and we're gonna to turn the knees out to match that angle. So squatting down, full depth, without collapsing your tailbone under too much at the bottom. We want a nice upright posture. I'm just bringing my hands forward for a little bit of counterbalance, and push those knees out, keeping the heels on the floor, nice even pressure between the front of your foot and the back of your foot and just sit your glutes down between your heels. Next up, we've got a good morning. So hands behind your ears. I'm going to hinge at the hip and then hinge forwards. So pull the hips back, keep your upper back engaged. Soften the knees slightly if you like, but you shouldn't be bending the legs too much for this. Should feel a nice hamstring stretch. Reach the tailbone out, keeping some length to the hamstrings. Okay, let's circle the arms forwards. I'm gonna do 15 seconds forwards and 15 seconds back. And backwards. From here, we'll be doing some alternating single leg Romanian deadlifts. A little bit of a balance test for you. So hinge at the hip, alternating sides. You can unlock the supporting leg but again, we're not looking to change that angle throughout the rep. From here, we're gonna go straight back into the second round with the body weight squats. So squatting down, getting the body temperature up a little bit, get the joints moving. Make sure you're getting full range of motion for all of these. So hands behind your ears, engage the upper back, hinge into that good morning. Imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards and that's gonna fold you in half, but we're not gonna slouch the upper back. We're gonna keep that engaged. Reach the tailbone up and out far. Into the circles. And change direction. Get ready for those alternating Romanian deadlifts. So hinging at the hip. A good tip for not turning your hips too much or twisting them is keep the back toe pointed down towards the floor. And let's not make it look like this. Instead, rise the heel, engage the upper back. So you might actually finish with your heel a bit higher and your body not quite as low. People tend to overdo the body and underdo the back leg. All right, so grab that dumbbell. You just need one dumbbell for this workout. As I said before, I'm gonna use 15 kilos. That's about 33 pounds, but you need to just use what's right for you. You'll have to do a goblet squat within this. We'll do some snatches, 
We'll do a single dumbbell skull crusher. So if that helps you make a weight selection. We're gonna start off doing an alternating snatch, alternating sides, doing 40 on, 20 off, four exercises for three rounds. So grab your dumbbell. We're gonna hinge at the hip until the dumbbell comes just below knee level. That's it. Drive up. So we're going up in one smooth movement. And then we, I'm gonna break it at the shoulder on the way down into two movements. But on the way up, should be powering through. Drive the hips a little bit like a kettlebell swing, but the dumbbell, rather than coming out forwards, should come up in a straight line, stay nice and close to your center line. Always finish your rep. Okay, you're gonna need to lie on your back for the next one. We're gonna do a skull crusher. You're gonna grab the dumbbell around the sides. Careful you don't drop it. Lower the handle around towards your forehead and then extend at the elbow. Make sure you've got a good grip on the dumbbell. Keep the elbows tucked in nice and tight. Obviously if you've got two dumbbells, you could do this with one dumbbell in each hand. Today I'm taking you through some options that you could do if you've only got one available. Maybe you've just got one that you could load up a bit heavy or you could do it with a partner and give them the other one. Finish that rep off. Okay, next up, got a goblet squat. So to your feet, you're gonna hold the dumbbell like this. Nice upright squat position. Make sure you're keeping your heels down. If you're really struggling, keeping your heels on the floor, try adding some plates underneath your heels or if you're at home, maybe two books that are the same height. Okay, we're gonna do a dumbbell bicep curl. So we're gonna hold that same grip we're using for the skull crushers. If you've got one dumbbell, obviously again, if you've got two, you could just have one in each hand. It's gonna be a tough one. And the forearms as well, if you're doing this single dumbbell variation. Great job, okay. There's one round done. We've got two to go in this first section. Then we'll be changing the exercises and doing the same format, but in section two. So we're starting back with those alternating snatches. The power should come from the hips.
onto the floor for those skull crushers. Be careful, make sure you got a firm grip on the dumbbell. onto your feet for those goblet squats. Nice upright position, full range of motion. Make sure the knees are staying out. Onto the curls next. Make sure you squeeze in the biceps at the top. Low control. Two down. One to go, then we'll give you four new exercises. Round three on the snatches.
Great job. You got a minute off now, just to give you a chance to get some water, have a proper rest. We're gonna go into the next section, doing the same format, doing four new exercises, 40 on, 20 off for three rounds. I'm gonna use the same weight. We're gonna start off with a clean and press. So a clean and press is different to a snatch, because a clean and press is gonna stop at the shoulder and then push press overhead as the snatch will travel from the base to the top in one movement. We need a single arm row. We'll do all 40 seconds on each side. I'm gonna do a single dumbbell sumo deadlift as well. So get ready to go, grab your dumbbell. We're gonna alternate arms for this clean and press, using the hips to get it to the shoulder and then push pressing overhead. So come underneath. I like to switch off the shoulder. Don't bicep curl it up, you should clean and get your elbow underneath it. Just a slight drop and drive for the push press. Finish. Give your bicep up next to your ear, nice and tall. So single arm row, I'm gonna do supported on one knee. You can do it leaning on a box or bench if you want, if you've got one. So I'm gonna stagger my stance, bend the back knee more. I'm gonna row this dumbbell up and out towards the pocket on that side. You can support your body on your front leg with your elbow or with your hand like this. Whatever feels most comfortable. I prefer the elbow, but a lot of people will use the hand on the knee. So you got 20 seconds off in between arms. So as I said before, if you'd rather just stand leaning your hand on a box or bench or something, or even kneeling on a bench, that's fine. But if you haven't got anything, just copy me. Okay, next up, you got a sumo deadlift. You can hold the dumbbell in one of two ways. You can either hold the handle in both hands or you could hold one end of the dumbbell. I usually prefer to do it like this. So hinge at the hip and then squeezing through. Nice wide stance for this sumo position. Toes turned out and then knees turned out to match the toe angle. Push the hips back, keep the shoulder blades locked in. Stretch the glutes out, squeeze the glutes through. Great job, one down. Two rounds left, and then that'll be the workout complete. OK, 
Get ready for that clean and press. Keep the dumbbell traveling close to your body. Swivel under, press through. Next up, got that single arm supported rail. So you want to row this dumbbell, not up in a straight line, but up and back towards the pocket slightly. And imagine leading the row using your elbow, not your hand. So you're pulling up with the elbow. That'll help you to engage the lats. You can actually let the lats stretch out a bit by reaching forwards. Onto the sumo deadlift next. So you're gonna pick that fairly wide stance, toes turned out and knees turned out to match that toe angle. Hinge at the hip, pushing the hips back, squeezing the glutes through. Should come to about a 45 degree angle with your back at the bottom. Maybe even more horizontal than that if your flexibility allows it. But keep your upper back engaged. Well done, we're almost there. We've got one more round of those exercises and that's the workout complete.
Just one exercise left now. Got that sumo deadlift. So take that nice wide stance, toes turned out. We're gonna push the knees out to match that toe angle. You might feel a little groin stretch. And that's it, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me for that. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout? And where in the world are you following along from? I truly do love to hear that. If you fancy a quick cool down stretch, I'll link one here. And if you wanna do another dumbbell workout with me, make sure you check out my dumbbells playlist on my channel. I'll see you again soon for another workout.